maybe the first order is online today. Yeah, I just uh, uh, help them to uh, present it. Yeah. Uh, today, I will share our recent work on AI-driven diagnosis. Uh, we have developed a non-intrusive method to assess the uh, severity of the uh, disability. Yeah. Yeah, first, I will talk about the background and the motivation, introduce why we started uh, this research and uh, what hope to achieve. Then I will explain the proposed uh, non-intrusive method to assess the uh, the source area, and uh, uh, finally, I will share the results we got from the testing of our approach. Uh, we introduced the background and motivation firstly. Uh, we can show uh, some experience to introduce a task firstly. Uh, give a speech, uh, we need to decide uh, what quality uh, is this given speech, very low, low or uh, moderate. Yeah, we can produce this. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, yeah, this is the test. So we can uh, find uh, the speaker can speak uh, very clear uh, about this one. <coughs> quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yeah, the speaker can not uh, speak normally. Yeah. So, uh, so our task is the uh, giving a speech. Uh, how can we decide its uh, uh, severity level? Yeah. So it is important uh, task for doctors and the patients. So assessing how uh, severe uh, disorders area is plays a huge role in figuring out the condition, keeping our eyes on how it changes over time and, and planning the speech uh, treatments. So currently there is a main three ways to do this. So first there is the a clinic assignment as shown in the left picture. Uh, this mostly relies on the how skilled and the experienced um, sp speech language pathologies. However, the drawback is the, that we need to take a lot of the time and uh, mostly is the uh, expensive. So second, uh, we have uh, objective uh, indicator, such as uh, using the uh, right uh, indicator uh, that uh, this method needs to the corresponding healthy data as a reference and match up with the other given recordings. But, giving, uh, but getting this reference speech recording uh, with the voice disorders can be really tough. So it is the problem for this method. So lastly, there is the AI driver method for classifying uh, severity level. So this tech can seriously help the doctors uh, diagnose and uh, plan the treatment. However, most of the current system focus on the uh, general speech clarity and uh, hoarseness, which means they are looking at the things on the speaker wide level. Uh, this approach can miss the smaller but important changes in the same person's speech. So this is a uh, key point in our this. Mm, paper. The quick brown fox goes the quick over brown. the lazy dog. Sorry. Uh, yeah, for example, we can listen to the two examples. Uh, this is the very high quality. It's most equal to five. This is not very high quality. Um, I see a kitchen and people are not really being safe in the kitchen. <laughs> Ice back will bounce back this week. Yeah, this two utterance is from one same speaker. We can clearly find these two utterance have a different ability, but they are both belongs to a same person. So uh, we observe that in some cases with the specific word, the speaker can speak normal. But for other cases, uh, the speaker cannot speak clearly. So we detect the given speech based on uh, speaker identity. That means the speaker dependent detection is not suitable for real cases. So we proposed another uh, method, uh, utterance level detection in this paper. It is the speaker independent solution. Uh, to address the above issue, we propose a, a new solution at the utterance level. When we say non-intrusive means that it uh, doesn't need uh, any healthy data as the reference. Uh, and uh, utterance level means that we focus on the 
catching the changes that happens in uh, just the one person speech over the different uh, times and the situations. So this approach let us find the difference in the details and uh, check how somebody's speech might be changing without needing lots of the extra information. Yeah, motivate, uh, motivated by this, we propose our uh, new methods. The so figure shows the overall architecture of our, uh, our model, which is able to capture the uh, unique difference within the same individual speaker. So we first uh, uh, designed the Persaudi uh, emphasis module uh, that works on the frame level basis. This module plays uh, pay more attention on the temporal violations, uh, including the pronunciation, uh, content, rhythm, and the timing. Yeah. And the second is that we propose the multi scale aggregation strategy to ga gather statics accused about the articulary information both at the frame level and uh, uh, utterance level from the given input speech. So the multi scale personality and the article curatory cues uh, directly assist the uh, final prediction network for uh, final prediction and the detection from the multi reviews. And naturally achieve the speaker independent generalizes, uh, generalization ability. So now let me break down the structure uh, in more details. The okay, first part is that on the frame level, uh, we started by getting the speech uh, embedding for each frames using a convolution module. Next, we use a combination of the uh, spectral harmonic correlation and uh, normalized uh, low frequency energy ratio and the dynamic programming to extra a uh, reliable pitch check. And uh, finally, we use the pitch value from uh, each frames as a weight to adjust its the corresponding speech embedding. So this emphasized the speech embedding helps to highlight the irregularities in stops and the towns that can uh, are typical of the obstructed speech. And uh, this part, uh, we move to the articulatory part. Articulatory part uh, captures the global information of the speech, such as the respiration, uh, hoarseness, and the charity. So, however, it also concludes the speaker specific information. So, we've developed a speaker suppression module. During the training phase, the module lets all speakers in the dataset into the three classes based on their uh, uh, severity, severity level. This approach helps minimize the influence of the individual speaker difference and pay more attention on the hostness and other features directly related to the uh, se severity level. And uh, finally, for the prediction module, we start by fusing the prosody emphasis the frame level features and the articulatory features as input. And then these combined features then pass through uh, uh, attention mechanism, which helps to the model to focus on the most relevant cues of the speech. F following this, the data goes through a, a fully connected network that uh, computes a quality uh, score for each frame. Finally, and then do, uh, we do the global average uh, to calculate the uh, final score of the six frame scores. So this method ensures that the evaluation uh, captures both the details and the comprehensive aspects of the speech related to the this uh, disaster. Yes, and that we input the articulatory and the speech embedding, and then through the uh, tension mechanism and get the final uh, frame level score and uh, utterance level score. Finally, we evaluate our approach on the public data set, VCC and the 
toggle. Yeah, that. So the table one shows the results of the mo our model and the baseline. One test on the VCC and the toggle data set. So the model show that the, the difference performance across the different uh, data set, but our model consistent performs well, particularly on the toggle data set. The main reason is that we consider the utterance level strategy into the solution. So to avoid uh, the speaker dependent problem, yeah. Moving to the table two results, it is the ablation study. It highlights how different features influence the assignment metrics. It's interesting to see that the including feature or precise information really helps uh, uh, improves the correlation with the actual values. And uh, as meanwhile, uh, focusing on the articulatory features and uh, that uh, the articulatory features seem to help to reduce the prediction errors while assessing speech with the similar severity level. So this kind of the insight of the super valuable because it points up to what, what elements are key for future assessment. Yeah. So finally, we do some visualization of the, our results. In figure two, the blue line uh, dominates the perfect prediction accuracy. The graph show that the uh, prediction made by the, our model cluster more tightly and align pro, uh, progressive with the two most values, indicating the high accuracy and the consistency. In contrast, uh, the baseline mostness prediction are more scouted. Yeah. So the red figure, figure three, provides the additional insights into our module performance by comparing its prediction accuracy directly with the actual, uh, actual uh, most values. So our model score aligns with uh, uh, aligns well with the real value that suggesting is the capability to minimize the human auditory perceptions of the input speech qualities. Yeah. So that's all. Thank you. Thanks for your listening. <laughs>